Here I am with Murray Watts, Director of Wayfair Productions and quite possibly the busiest man in Edinburgh this year because you have three plays on this year. Indeed I do. And how, how do you find the time? Were they, were they all written at the same time or is it over a period of time? Or? Well it is like the buses, you know, waiting for the bus, three turn up suddenly after half an hour and three of these plays were written over about a five year period but the opportunity arose to put them all on this year at the Edinburgh Festival, so it's a very, very exciting time. And the first play, uh, Mr Darwin's Tree, that's, that's already been uh, uh, staged in some fairly salubrious places, isn't it? Yeah, it has. I mean, Darwin, Mr Darwin's Tree was actually given its world premiere at Westminster Abbey. I didn't know that when I wrote the play, but it does have a scene at the end of Darwin being buried in Westminster Abbey, so it was an absolutely electrifying context for that play, and, and lots of people have responded very well. So that's a one-man show and it's been all over Britain and, and that's why we felt the urgency to actually get it seen at the Edinburgh Festival. So uh, Mr Darwin's Tree being a one-man show, Happiness yeah. is, uh, is two people. Happiness uh, is a two-hander, it's a, a very tight two-hander, it's about a wedding anniversary that goes badly wrong um, and it's a deep and moving, I've got two brilliant actors doing it and it's something that I think people will find very powerful um, and emotional. Um, and I hope we'll, we'll never forget seeing them. I think they're an absolutely wonderful couple of actors in this play. And First Light, is that the most recent play that you've written? Yeah, it is, actually. And it would be rare for me normally to put a play on within the same year as writing it. Um, again, encouraged by others who'd read the play, they said, no, actually, you really should get this on at the same time. So that's what makes me the maybe the busiest I've ever been at Edinburgh. Maybe sure. I am the business, busiest man at Edinburgh. But um, that's a new play set in a boarding school something I know a little bit about because my father was headmaster of a boarding school and I went to a boarding school um, and it's a, a play about the encounter between a teacher and a, and a female, a male teacher and a female pupil so it's a, a play with some amazing contemporary themes and there's a kind of scandal if you like within the play or potential scandal and so on so it's a very um, exciting to get that done and I think it'll be provocative but very moving I hope, very moving. Is there, you know, is there a theme that links all of the plays? I think in some ways uh, one of the most sort of surprising things I find in putting them together is realising that there are issues of belief and struggle and doubt. You get very strong in Darwin, in, in Darwin's life, between Darwin and his wife who had very different kinds of beliefs about the world, uh, about God in fact, uh, and you get that sort of sense of struggle um, and if you like faith and doubt or trust and mistrust or is there anything out there no there isn't anything out there and all the kind of struggles that human beings go through so I think there is that kind of dialogue going on in all three of these plays really on the edge in some ways of, of human experience and uh, post Edinburgh are you hatching plans already we're certainly hatching plans because I mean I love the Edinburgh festival and it's like a love affair long love affair for me with Edinburgh and the festival over many years but I'm not doing it just to get seen in the shop window of Edinburgh. The point is to launch these plays. They're like sort of sending one's children out, if you like, into the world. And I'm very much hoping that all three of these plays will be seen in London, maybe beyond even the London Fringe and, and perhaps even in New York and elsewhere in the future. I mean, obviously, I've had other plays that have done some interesting things. So we're hoping that there'll be a great future for these three plays. Great. Best of luck. Thank you.